This place is boring. Nothing but the same thing every day. Are you the one sent by Mara? My parents are being impossible. Bassianus wants to marry me. I think I love him. But he wants to move to Riften afterwards. And my father won't allow it. He only cares about this stupid town. But Bassianus makes me happier than anyone ever has. My mother's not any help either. Oh, thank you so much. It's wonderful to have someone around who understands. Learned about you and your honey words. You must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrot. Honest pay for honest work. 
Honest pay for honest work. Honest pay for honest work. Oh my. Probably something about the men. We all wish we had her problems. I don't tell my husband, but I don't have any problem with Bassianus. Even if it means her leaving Iverstead, I want Fastred to be happy. If they just snuck out of town together, I could manage my husband. Bassianus is still so terrified of Yolfthor. If he knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down, he'd take Fastred to Riften without a second thought. Let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be happy. Good luck out there. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet. daughter's driving me crazy. So f I'm sure I know what this is about. She thinks she's in love with Bassianus and wants to leave town. With him. Let me tell you how I see it. Until a few months ago, the girl was head over heels for a clinic. Wouldn't stop no, talking about him. I'll tell you, Wilhelm. Now, if I thought she was really in love with Bassianus, that would be one thing. But she's a child. Has so much to learn. It will pass. Clemic Look around here. Fine. There's not much left. You Used to be a good-sized town, Perhaps one day, but folks have been moving to Riften for a while now. If all the young people leave, what happens to Iverstead? You know how children are. Her fancies change with the moon. And like always, the boy lacks any kind of spine. He'll need some convincing. A little push and this would all be simpler. Just get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone here. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why b oh, Why did Bodhi send you to me? I always had a feeling she liked me. More than that brute Yoththor, at least. Yoththor? What about him? He'll come after us and... She would. If she's willing to deal with him, then... I'll... I'll go speak to Fastrid. Post haste. Fastrid, we must speak. Bassianus, sweetie, what is it? We must leave. Your father will never approve of us, and I grow weary of this place. Where will we go? To rift in my pet. How you'll adore the city. Oh, and to be with you. I'll make the preparations immediately. Can't believe Fastrid ran off to rift him with that... that bastard. They call it... I'm not certain if I could even make it to the top without collapsing from exhaustion. Good to see you. Until later. You're speaking to one of the pilgrims on the 7,000 steps. I told you that I didn't want you to go up there. I know what you said, but I only wanted to speak to him for a moment. Well, it stops now. And that's fine. On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clement? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. I wish I could make my delivery passing through on your way to High Hrothgar. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. The Greybeards tend not to get out. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, 
Take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Keep an eye out for Wool. I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the... They're not the sort to... Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation.
so. A dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. You have shown that you are Dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thoom, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einar will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Relenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Boy.
now see how you learn a completely new shunt. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Wood. Hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Approach Master Bori, and he will gift you his knowledge of none. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori? Rex! Wolf! Yes. Now, your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Quick mastery of a new Thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengraf. Remain true to the way of the voice. Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. No doubt, the appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand it. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. That has been the downfall of many Dragonborn before you. Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. We study the way of the voice, according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Windkoller. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. Their voices are too powerful for anyone not trained in the way to withstand. Even a whisper could kill you. The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, 
The only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. That is commendable. But remember, the dragon blood is itself a gift of Akatosh. Do not try to deny that gift. Your destiny requires you to use your voice. Why else would Akatosh have bestowed this power upon you? If you remember to use your voice in service to the purpose of Akatosh, you will remain true to the way. Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later, when you are ready. No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. The voice was a gift of the... Although this true in the contemplation of the sky, we study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our father. Very few are pro But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you. Five, when your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Your training proceeds well, Dragonborn. Breath and focus. Ah! 
Bye, perhaps. You there. You're the one they call Dragonborn. Your lies fall on deaf ears, Deceiver. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Safe, I hope. Okay, La. Ready to make some coin. If you're ever in the market, I need our to deal ask in you specialty to stop. goods for Morrowind. Can't say I've stands. heard of any laws against whatever that is you're doing, but I've got my eye on you. Buy something or just here for training? Take a look. Back when you're ready to spend more gold. Goodness knows I could use it. Jewelry with legendary Argonian craftsmanship. Always guaranteed. Buy some armor and live from tell about it. Don't miss out. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Wish to do what I do? Very well. The finest weapons and armor. Remember, nothing but genuine fire sets will do. The forge knows the difference. I presume Glad you're you bothered. Well, is there some... 
I... I... Here. I want you to accept this as payment for your sacrifice. And I... Well, we both thank you. If you've got the... If Maven Blackbriar... The Thieves Guild has... The if it's true that the dragons have re... If it's true that the dag... Mule the Lion is used to... The Thieves Guild has been put... Crime is an all-time high... Mule the Lion is used... Mule the Lion is... If Maven Blackbriar... Sibby Blackbriar... Mule the Lion is... If Maven Blackbriar... If Maven Blackbriar... Mule the Lion is... Sibby Blackbriar is furious that his ex-lover tried to murder him. He's leaving no stone unturned searching for her. Mule the Lion is used to adventure across Skyrim before she settled down in Captain. I hear it all ended when she lost her enchanted blade. You have a kind heart. Much too kind for Riften. I've never seen the old as upset about feet. Be always city soft. If you're, hmm, you're not from around here. Imperial I presume spy, you're perhaps. Me. For a good reason. Support Ulfric. I believe we're done. Trying. There's nothing in between. So pleased to see you. Ours is to smile at your passing, friend. Huh? It was lost years ago in a Dwemer ruin. Without it, I feel almost as defenseless as a newborn. I don't think I'll ever be able to find a replacement. I couldn't ask you to undertake such a treacherous journey. It would be a fool's errand. But I see that spark in oh. your eye, and I what know happened? better than to warn you away. Grimsever rests within the Dwemer ruin of Missinche left. Tread carefully, friend. Those same ruins almost took my life. I was adventuring in the... What a waste. When the Colossus... It was only through blind luck. I must have collapsed. Because the next thing I remember is Erin standing over me, tending to my wounds. Just stay away from me and I'll forget we had this discussion. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Yes, my love? We have a cozy little prophet. Here. Here, this is fresh. I'll have another meal ready tomorrow. <laughs> 